there are so many cool tools that Google has. And one of them that we're going to look at in this video is the campaign URL builder. So the ability to take a URL for our website and then build it up by adding in the source and the medium and then a campaign so that when someone clicks on that link, it's recorded in the campaign area within Google Analytics. So let's go ahead and look at how to use the campaign URL builder. So we've been using Google Analytics to track the visits to our website and um, you're creating your content, you're sharing it out in different places, but are you tracking where that's come from in other ways? So what we can do is we can create campaigns where we can group the data together in slightly different ways. So what about if you've shared a blog post on LinkedIn or a WhatsApp group or anywhere else that you want to kind of combine into one place? If we go to the acquisition area and then we go to campaigns, so campaigns, you'll see data there if you've been um, doing a campaign online using Google AdWords, that kind of thing. So we can see there we've got paid things and cost analysis, but what we can also do is we can create campaigns to link information together as well. So here we can see that I created a campaign called Google Analytics, and I use this to be able to track the data and the visits to my site for any of the blog posts that I shared that are related to Google Analytics specifically. So this Google Analytics series that I'm doing. So if I go into the campaign, we can see there that we've basically got the source and the medium so that we can see that we've got 21 users or visitors that have come um, and the source is LinkedIn and the medium is social. And then the same for Twitter and then YouTube, um, WhatsApp and so on. So I've basically created this campaign so I can group all of that information together. So let's have a look and see how we actually have done that. This is going to be a tool that we can use that sits outside of Google Analytics but can be tied in together so that again we can go to that campaign area and we can view from there. Now this URL you'll find in the link be links below in the description where you can get to this um, campaign URL builder that sits in the demos and tools area for Google Analytics. Now what will happen is each time you go it'll remember the last URL that you've used in terms of your campaigns. We're just going to delete that first of all and let's say that we're going to share the link for this specific post. So I'm going to copy the link and I'm going to paste in the URL that I want to share. Now what we've got is the um, campaign source and the campaign medium. So if we go back here, we can see the source and the medium. So if I'm going to share this on LinkedIn, I'm going to go ahead and type in LinkedIn and my medium is going to be social. Then what we can do is we can give it a campaign name. So the campaign name I gave to the campaign that we just looked at in Google Analytics was called Google Analytics because that was the campaign that I wanted to track. So let's say that this campaign is, um, I want to specifically say, okay, this was for part 11 for this specific um, social media series. So I can say part underscore 11 GA for Google Analytics. So I can then put in things that are about um, paid keywords. Again, we're not doing anything about paid um, advertising, so we're going to leave that blank. Now, what it's going to do is it will generate a campaign URL. No doubt you have seen URLs like this where it's basically got things that are built into it, these parameters that go after the main URL itself. So what it's done is it is appended to that and it's put the source of LinkedIn, the medium of social and the campaign of part underscore 11 underscore GA. Now we can copy the URL, but what's even better is we can convert the URL to a short link. Now this uses a Bitly integration. So the first time that you go to this, you will have to link to a Bitly account, which is free to set up. Um, but if I do convert URL to short link, I then have a nice little link that it's created. If I copy this and then go ahead and I paste it into a browser, what we're going to see is it's going to take us to that page, but it's got all of that information on there. Now, the reason that I would use this is I would take that URL and I would paste that into LinkedIn whenever I share a post. That would be the link that I use to that page. Then what I would do is I might say, well, I'm also going to share it on Twitter. 
and I type that in, so therefore it's going to change the URL. And again, I can convert that to a short link and then use that in Twitter and then do the same thing for YouTube and so on in any place that I want to share this. So this is going to be something that when I've set up that campaign, anytime somebody then goes and clicks on that link, then what we'll see is in the campaign area. So if I go, let me just remove that filter and in the campaign area we will see the name of the campaign listed so again that google analytics is a campaign that i created youtube visits is a campaign i created if you use any kind of scheduling software and i use buffer that uses um several um uh, puts on those parameters onto the end of the url so it has a buffer campaign so that is created for me. When I send out emails out of ConvertKit, that also creates campaigns for me. So I can see and track and, and look and see where those um, visits are coming from. So I can see from a buffer perspective, when I've gone and I've shared things via buffer, that within this time frame, we've had 14 of the links that have clicked on that have come from LinkedIn, and we've had seven that have come from Twitter. So this is a free tool. It's a pretty cool tool and I've started using it more and more to where I'm grouping those visits together so I can see the campaign and I can see how effective it's been in terms of bringing in the traffic from various different sources and the medium. So go ahead, check it out and let me know what you think of the campaign URL builder. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.